what we're looking at this evening is something I have not yet covered with you, um, so it's brand new ground. Um, the reason I've not yet co covered it with you is, well, twofold really. The first one was I really want to solidify statement and transfers in there, so I've done them a few times, statement and transfers. And to be honest, it's worth doing statement and transfers just every now and again because they're so vital. Um, and the second reason is frequency. This, this two spade response does not come up anywhere near as much as statement and transfers, so they're not as important, nor does it come up as much. However, it's worth noting there is a bit of two spades after partner with one natural. So, what I'm talking about is one of our team, our partner or us, opens one node trump, and we have all these clever responses. Uh, our system systems are on, so we have all these what you what you would call artificial bits, bits that don't necessarily mean they're suits. So just as a recap, uh, by word of shouting at me if you want to, what is two clubs after part one node trump? Stay, 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 no go, stay man. It's felt like that rather than like part of the flower because it's named after someone, if you care. Um, two diamonds and two hearts are what? Red suit transfers. Red suit transfers, yeah. Could have written that bigger and just once, but there you go. So we've got a way of looking for 4-4 four, four major fits. We've got a way of showing five card or longer majors. Notice we're emphasising majors, as ever. Two no trumpses. John Travolta, which means what in layman's terms? Top or bottom. So it's an invite. <laughs> John Travolta is him in Saturday Night Fever. I've seen him do that before. Invite, yeah, invite to have a dance. No, invite to bid three no trumps. One no trump, two no trumps, bid three if you're maximum. So that is how many points would you have for that? 11 or 12. Yeah, I mean, it could be a good time, but I think 11 or 12. Um, partner's got 12 to 14, so in the 11 or 12 region, you are not sure whether 25's there or not. Alright, um, points for transfers, how many points do you need for a transfer? None. None. If you've got less than none, this is my tagline, if you've got less than none, you, can, you don't have to do it. <laughs> and statement? 11. 11 for regular statement, and there is a version of statement where you need none, which is called? Weak, weak statement. So that depends on what you've agreed with your partner. Um, I'll put 11 plus, but bear in mind if you are playing weak statement, which is when you 5 4 in majors, you can do it with 0 or more. But I'll put 11 plus because that will satisfy most of the textbooks and stuff. The reason you need 11 plus for statement is that if you bid statement and it does not work, i.e., you don't find a fit, you need to go back to 2 no trumps and you need the 11 points for the 2 no trump bid. Right, that's the idea. So here we've got a way of looking for 4 4 major fits, a way of looking for 5 3 or different major fits and a way of looking for three no trumps. There is something missing here. We've talked about majors, we've talked about no trumps, we haven't talked about minors. The reason we've not bothered talking about minors and we sacrifice all of our minor bids to look for majors is because we frequently don't want to play in minors. Because minors don't score very well, majors do score well. Um, I'll try not to bore you with the scoring, but majors score better and are easier to make games, that's why they're our favourites. Minors score worse and are harder to make games, they're bad on two fronts. So we try to, if we can, play in a major or play in no trumps. Okay? That's why our whole structure after one no trump opening bid is all biased around have we got a major fit, have we got a major fit. That's why these are so important. In old fashion, before all of this systemic stuff came in, Two clubs would be a weak takeout in clubs, saying, I have clubs, let's not play no trumps. Two diamonds would have been the same thing. I've got diamonds, let's not play no trumps. And two hearts and two spades would all be the same thing, i.e. natural, but I do not want to play in this one no trump contract. We have sacrificed being able to bid our miners naturally. So if we've got hearts, we bid diamonds. If we've got spades, we bid hearts. So there is a free bid available. Two spades. Two spades is not spades. Because if we were to bid, if we had spades, we would bid what? Two hearts. Two hearts. So all of this slots in nicely, i.e., majors, 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 no trumps. We have a two spade bid available for free, if you like. We are not using that two spade bid to define anything. Because if you had spades, you wouldn't be bidding two spades, you'd be transferring or stabling, depending on how many spades you've got. Would like to say, just a little bit of a tangent, if the opponents intervene over this one no trump, all of your clever stuff disappears. So therefore, all of this, what I'm about to talk about, doesn't apply, because if it goes one no trump and they did, 
you now can't do your transfers, so therefore you have to play everything as natural. So you're back to natural times. I'm assuming we are uncontested, which means they're not doing anything for that. So this two spade bid has been trial and error and used as all sorts of different things ever since I've been playing bridge. There are essentially... Eh? Yeah, years and years. Eh? <laughs> um, there are essentially three different bids you can use this to, three different hands rather, for this, for this two spade bid. One of them, the most frequent use I come across, is you split 11 and 12. So you play two spades as exactly 11 points with a balanced hand and no majors, and two no trumps as exactly 12 and an invite. Now, the problem I have with this, the reason I've told you is because you will come across people playing it as this. They will bid two spades, they'll, alert, they'll flash their alert card, assuming that they're doing, doing the proper thing. And they're splitting the difference between 11 and 12. Because it is a bit of a nightmare if you open one no trump, and part of it is two no trumps, and you've got 13. Because you are neither minimum nor maximum. So what do you do? Someone came up with a solution of bidding two spades with 11 and two no trumps with 12, therefore you know exactly what to do, whether to bid three or not. The problem I have with this is frequency. The reason this two, the, 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 kind of the function of this two spade being 11 works when you've got exactly 13 opposite exactly 11. Because if you've got 14, you're going to bid game anyway. If you've got 12, you're never bidding game. So it only helps you when you've got a balanced 11 opposite a balanced 13, which is very infrequent. It's almost pointless having that bit because it's so infrequently useful. What's more frequent is you have a long minor and you wish you were playing in the minor rather than playing all this statement and transfers and all that going. So the two spade response I'm going to recommend is as follows. Um, where shall I write it? I'll write it at the bottom, I suppose. <laughs> two spades. I put a little star next to it because it means alerting. To be honest, most of these bits need announcing or alerting. Um, so two spades is, I have a long minor. Oh dear. Um, I wish to play in it, basically. Put a little cloud around it, that means it's important. Or a sheep if you want to put legs on it. 